everybody and welcome to Innovation Corner. I'm really excited about today because we're going to talk about an Alzheimer's project that the two Photonik is doing with UC Berkeley. And basically they're developing a new uh, light source that can help combat Alzheimer's. So we're going to talk a bit about that and I know you guys have been asking about it on Facebook. Uh, so I've invited uh, two people from the project. So I'd like to introduce Jess Boring. Um, who's mm -hmm. an amazing entrepreneur and professor. Thank you. And he's the head of innovation at the two Photonik and the man behind many of our startups, including Bifrost Communications, who was actually here at the, in the studio a few times ago. Mm -hmm. um, and he's also heading Open Entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, who's basically building a bridge between industry and academia uh, to sort of pave the way and make uh, a good environment for startups mm. and uh, innovation yeah yeah so i'm really happy to have you here thank you Mary. thank you and i'm really happy to have you here as well marcus he's a master student who's working on the technical part of the project mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of your stuff is confidential yeah so i'm sure. very happy you could <laughs> take the time to just come by and talk about your project no problem so uh, maybe you can just start by explaining alzheimer's for us uh, like what's the, what happens in the brain that we can uh, fix with light uh, in the brain you have a lot of different neurons the neurons, they communicate with, it, with each other with different frequencies. So you, you can say you have a lot of oscillating electronic waves in your brain. Uh, different type of uh, frequencies of these waves account for different things. And uh, what is shown and what we are working on is a specific kind of, you can say, brain oscillation, which is around 40 hertz and is called the gamma oscillation. Um, it is shown that if you can induce gamma oscillations, if you can entrain, train gamma, gamma waves in your brain and let them, let them be there for let's say an hour, a day, over three weeks, then you can actually reduce the amount of brain trash, which is a protein in your brain, which is the main contributor, or what people think is the main contributor, I'm quite sure that, that it is, um, to Alzheimer's disease. So let's say we can remove this brain trash or plaque. Uh, what is shown is that you can reduce it by up to 52% after one hour stimuli for three weeks. In mm. mice. In mice, of course, in mice. Uh, this is shown in mice and we really hope, we cross fingers, that we can take these results and go into human studies and hopefully help people with Alzheimer's and their relatives, of course. So in relation uh, to the technology, um, what is shown is that you can use flickering light to uh, induce these oscillations. And uh, the original study uh, comes from MIT, which is published in, in Nature uh, last Christmas, so under a year ago. Uh, and they show uh, the, these stunning results in, in mice. And they do it with a flickering 40 hertz lamp. Um, the problem is so that 40 hertz flickering light is quite annoying to look at, especially if it's uh, high intensity. Mm -hmm. So we are looking into a way we can make a light source that is enjoyable to look at and have the same effects. So uh, and that that we have been working on wow. the last. Uh, for three, four months. Mm. Okay, that's yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. And how far along are you? So we are that far that we have proof of concept and we are building eight prototypes now. Uh, and we are shipping them, we are shipping, we're taking them, I'm taking them to Berkeley next Saturday in order to do some initial testing uh, on mice there. Especially to try to reproduce some of the results so we can generate evidence and get more indications on how and uh, if we will go and approach humans. Mm. And what's the Berkeley's role in this? Yeah, so we're happy to work with Berkeley, uh, some of the leading neuroscientists uh, at Berkeley University. Um, we have a PhD student and a professor on their side, and they're bringing the knowledge about the brain, how it works. Uh, they also have the mice experiments. And we're bringing the knowledge of uh, technology. Uh, and you can say together we build a team that also should handle the, the spin-out entrepreneurial. So. 
I spent a, a semester at Berkeley, and uh, it was just fascinating seeing how we could use each other uh, across there, and we're bringing people. Marcus is going to Berkeley next week. Uh, we've just had visits for a month of, of the PhD student from the Berkeley side. She's coming over here again in November. And we're also building, uh, you could say, the competences around the core team, advisory boards, medical doctors, uh, business investors, people from some pharmaceutical industry, putting them, you can say, to, to have a, also a broader range of people to advise us going through this, the next half year where we'll have some really exciting clinical tests coming out. Yeah. I'd like to think that uh, with um, startups, you can really do something to change the world. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure a lot of our students have entrepreneur dreams and maybe they want to do just that, I mean, change the world, make it better. And what could their starting point be? They have these dreams. Yeah, so one of the, you say the benefits of being at the Technical University is that we have, we have great technology, we also have great students. Um, and what we're starting to have now is also people that have been successful in the startup community or have industry insights that they're willing to come back actually uh, give a, a good advice or sometimes actually be activated to start working on the case so you know open entrepreneurship which is the new program uh, i'm heading a, a danish initiative there we're mixing you can say the old or the experience <laughs> with the young uh, and the drive and that combination is really fantastic so in our case the alzheimer case we have people from the pharmaceutical industry and, and med tech industry that initially just saying well i'd like to give back and give advice now they're so hooked on the idea that they're considering investing uh, in the startup case, becoming part of the board uh, of the company, or maybe even jumping in and having a, a role uh, in the daily management uh, of the company. So for students who have entrepreneurial thoughts, come to me or some of my colleagues in open entrepreneurship. Uh, let's discuss the cases. And often we can find then this match to people that have tried the route before, maybe have some business intelligence insight and say where the ideas could work out, often actually also end up in, in investing. So, so it's really a, a strong combination coupling that marketing, sales, management uh, skills to, to the young entrepreneurs. That's, I think that's amazing. Mm -hmm. So you guys, there's plenty of opportunities. You just have to grab them and do your thing. Um, yeah, so thanks so much for coming. Thank uh, you. Very thank great. you. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> we look forward to seeing where your project is going to go. Thank you, Mila. Thank you.